And I probably in the future, if we made a, a, a Space Force today, it wouldn't be questioned decades from now. Okay. So what do you think of the policy for other aspects study of space? I think you do mention that there are the plans to fund a wide field infrared telescope. Is that probably not going to happen? Yeah, there's a lot that goes on with regard to science under any given administration. There's the background of science research that's conducted, no matter who is present. And that takes place through the funding channels of, in the biological sciences, the National Institutes of Health, or NIH, the National Science Foundation. Okay, it's been clear pretty much all day. It's about 5 o'clock right now. And we, we're starting to see these spray lines. And so, and then we have, and actually there's a big one right there that ex has expanded out. It's expanded out. There's a line right there. And it looks like several other ones back behind it. And then we have this stuff coming in from the coast. This is all sprayed nano dust which will eventually fall to the ground and into people's lungs and so they're trying to do studies on this stuff right now they're ta they're calling it asbestos poisoning black lung disease uh, mesothelioma, mesothelioma. Uh, they're, they've actually found um, these dust particles in fetuses now so these dust particles that are spraying um, are now in the fetuses of of, uh, of pregnant women. They're found. They call it soot, is what they call it, soot. And you can see how these are are lining up. They have a certain amount of lines to them. These these billowy clouds here, they're sort of billowy. See how they're sort of billowy? They're more natural. And then we see these faded lines, this haze, this is totally artificial dust clouds. Uh, they call it geoengineering, stratospheric aerosol injection, uh, solar radiation management, and uh, it's about controlling the weather. It's about controlling your environment without you knowing about it. It's a covert program because, like I said, this dust will eventually fall into people's bodies, uh, uh, lodge and cause cancer. Uh, it will eventually fall to the ground and cause environmental damage. And so that's why it's a covert program. It's basically their uh, plan to keep on selling petroleum and, pl and pay uh, these guys to spray this dust in our air so that the uh, global warming uh, effects are not as um, not as extreme as as normally as normally planned. But my theory is basically we should totally convert to electric cars. The economy should be uh, converted to use electric vehicles. Um, and you know what really irks me is that basically our post office, our government is still using petroleum vehicles. So every vehicle I see here in my town is a petroleum vehicle. It's using regular gasoline. And you would think that if the government was not, was more independent and not hooked into the petroleum industry, big oil, then they would be running electric, solar. No, but they're burning petroleum. So this government is actually um, lining the pockets of big oil. So our government, our U.S. government, the federal government, is pumping funds into uh, the petroleum industry <laughs> and once again there's one of the lines uh, I, I just came from a city south of here and we we're seeing several of these lines these spray lines going from west to east and this 
crap is blowing in from the ocean uh, off the coast. And so that's your geoengineering artificial weather report for today. Thanks for watching. Call your congressmen and local representatives and tell them you do not want geoengineering stratospheric aerosol injection, albedo enhancement, marine cloud whitening programs. You'd rather see the government convert to renewable energy. Do it now.